What's going on? Sing Wavy back again with some more GBO2. And today we're going to be looking at the Banshee you know? <clears throat> Also, kind of compare it to <clears throat> the Unicorn. Yeah. Like, Unicorn, man. Why they, why they hit it so hard, bro? And they're going to bring out Banshee you know? which is literally Unicorn Babel. It, like literally Unicorn about. I thought that Banshee Norm would have been more of a shooter suit, but it's not. It's more of a melee. It's, it's basically identical to Uni Unicorn. It's apart from this only gets plus 10 to melee. Unicorn gets 30. <clears throat> but like the stats. The base stats are higher, right? For the range and all that. Like, ah, man. It, like, Unicorn should be better for melee. And it should also life steal like the Banshee Norn does. But hey, this is going to turn into a rant video. <laughs> so I want to keep uh, away from that. All I'm going all I'm gonna to say is BB, man. Like, you knew this was coming out and you nerfed the unicorn. I I'm actually disappointed in you guys, bro. Like, L developers, bro. Sorry, but L developers for doing that. Your W developers when you do things right, but the fact that you knew Banshee Norm was gonna be like this. Because we saw the leaks, bro. We knew it was it we knew it was there, bro. We knew it was there, and this was early, this was around anniversary time, I, I, I think actually, was it around anniversary time or before, or just after anniversary where we found the leaks for the Banshee Norm? <clears throat> and then you go nerf the unicorn, like, are you, are you insane, bro? Do you want people to play unicorn or not? Like, I don't, like, I have all of them, yeah, because I like unicorn. Right, but if I was like smart, right, I would just save for the Banshee Norm because it comes out later. Later means it always is better, and that that's it's really dumb, right? Especially when you, you when you nerf the suit and then you bring out a suit that's going to be better than it. It's like you're you're making it even more worse <laughs> than what it is because. If this was not uh, how it was originally, and by the way, like I don't mean to like revert Banshee Norn and, and Phoenix back to where it was. I'm talking just Unicorn back to where it was originally on release when it was first released. Bring it back, 70 range strength, freaking bring it all back, bro. HP, bring it back. Like in fact, you should even buff the HP. Look at the what the fuck is that? 24, bro. 24 and Loki has it's not a real shield, but it kind of is a real shield <laughs> Like in base mode, it's not it's not a shield, right? It's like it's more like a buffer, right? But when you awaken Like it, it gains uh, It reduces stun effect. So it's basically as good as a shield like you you know you get shot by it an instant stun, it doesn't stun you. Just like a shield like would work, right? And it pings off the shield as well, right? It's basically the same it's basically a shield but not a shield. It's weird. But so it has that also. Then not only it has a maneuver arm in base mode. Maneuver arm in base mode, right? Like come on man. It, it literally is just the upgrade to Unicorn in every single way. And and it's so strong, in my opinion, to the point where it's the best general. Like, it's the better Unicorn. Phoenix, I would say the second best. It's still probably a better shooter, damage-wise, right? We've got a 67 range. For Loki, these weapons are disgusting, man. Like... This weapon here is actually so powerful. And you combine 
the fact that you know you got you got instant stun. That's used two, by the way. It's used two, so it, like you can actually stun two people if you if you like quick enough at switching targets between the shots. You can do that if you wanted to. I'm not saying that this is a practical thing, but the possibilities of actually being able to do it is still good. So you can can you can cancel and just like shoot one, <clears throat> like stun them. And then this instant stuns per round and is like 40% stun value, something like that. So like this is very good at breaking maneuver armor. And like it's kind of like a true combo because if you stun somebody with like beam rifle or the shield cannon, you can pretty much immediately shoot this and it'll re-stun. Like the third hit, I guess, re-stuns them, innit? It shoots three at a time, and I guess the third hit will re-stun them. <clears throat> but in the description here it says after dealing damage via non-suppressive uh armor piercing, it's not it's not actually armor piercing. It actually pierces through shields. It, it should say a uh, shield piercing. It, it pierces through the shields. Um, suppressive flash that um, um, staggers target. Like you actually see like a little flash pop up. Also, look at look at this shit. This weapon can nullify part of the enemy's ballistic armor and deal damage, which means. Does it just ignore ballistic resistances? It's either, <clears throat> it's either trying to say that it nullifies parts, so like, you know, ballistic armor parts, and it will just go through, it would just ignore the ballist, the basically plus 15 to ballistics, for example, right? And just go and hit you, like, it might do that. Do, uh, where is it? Here it is. Um, it might be. It might do that, or <clears throat> it just completely bypasses ballistic resistance. So you, it's like having zero ballistic resistance. That would be insane. I, I'm guessing it's just parts, because surely it would do more damage if it was ignoring ballistic resistances but then again it's only 500 power and it, it kind of does what around hmm i'll say like maybe a thousand it like for overall like when i see this uh do the the most the most damage i've seen it do is like it's like two thousand all right right around that so it can't Ignore bullet. I don't think it ignores ballistic resistance, but it probably ignores just the armor parts Which that's still crazy. Anyway, that's still crazy so <clears throat> the next thing uh, Yeah, mega cannon is just a solid instant stun. You have to charge it, but it's literally the same charger as the B Magnum 0.8 right so effectively you have another B Magnum but without the splash. Because, I mean, the the damage, if you hit both the da both hits, like, on raids, you hit, like, 4K. Like, with the B, the Mega Cannon, man. It's kind of nuts. So, you, yeah, you're doing about just under 2,000 damage, like, on, like, generals and stuff like that. So, you, you're still doing, like... It's still doing like 3k easy honestly so yeah like you pretty effectively have another beam magnum almost the almost the same damage the beam magnum <clears throat> and the beam jute now beam jute is very interesting the beam jute is very very interesting right so the counter acts like an active guard. 
to where you can. Uh, it doesn't matter where you attack from. You will, you'll get counted. So you, you can attack them in the back, front side, left, right, doesn't matter. You you can counter people at any time. It's like active guard. But the thing is, it's like you can't you can't try. It's it's very hard to do it reactively. It's like you have to be you have to kind of predict that they're gonna go for a melee if it's like a neutral or side swing. Like it's, you're not going to you're not going to do it on reaction, right? Unless it's like a really wind up like heavy attack or whatever like that. So in my opinion, this weapon actually isn't something that you should like go out your way or trying to do, right? Make it more like of a last resort thing where like, oh, you see someone doing a lot of melee and heavy attacks. Now you know that you could probably punish this guy because he's just heavy. He's a heavy attack Andy, basically. <clears throat> that's when, like, when you know there's some like people like that. That's when that's your best chance to use it. Also, like, when you bait counters, right, and they like counter, you can boost up, to, boost up towards them, and then the, do the the parry. They probably will try to melee you, right? Because that's what. Some people do that, some people, like, it's a mind game, in it, right? Some people won't attack, some people attack. You tackle, and they, they want to they wanna try to hit you before you, like, capitalize on them, right? Because they know you can't shoot them because you're boosting towards them. So they'll try to hit you with the melee, but then you just freaking active guard. Boom. Hit them with the parry, and pretty much kill them. So like, that's kind of way I, I use it. I, will, I don't... I don't like running up to people and then just freaking hold it up. Like, you can do that. Like, like I said, it's a mind game, but I often do not do that. The only time I'll do that is if, like, I see maybe one of my teammates on the floor and I see, like, a guy coming up, try to, like, like do his combo and then I just get in there and try to do, do the parry. Like, that's the only time I would, like, rush up and try to parry. The best way to use it, in my opinion, and I haven't done it yet, but I've seen people do it, is literally boosting away from someone, pretending that you run out of thrusters and then activating it. Like, especially when there's like a heavy attack Andy behind you and it's like he's charging up, chasing you in the back, and then like you pretend like, oh, I've run out of thrusters, and you're like, uh, you try to like pretend that you just you only can walk right and then boom active guard like i think that would be the best way to bait it right that's my opinion on that yeah so everything here is insane 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 like all the skills are insane like the fact that it has offense system is another thing that makes uh, Unicorn obsolete. I said, yeah, if it has offense system, Unicorn is completely done. Like, there's no no point of even playing that suit because this suit literally does that thing, what that thing does, but better, right? And it has a, a free hit downswing on the dual on the dual sabers, which is ninety times free. It's like, it's like. Bro, like you're doing like 10k damage to a raid on that downswing, man. Right? Like you, it might as well be a heavy attack. And like even you're freaking you when you parry someone, that's like a heavy attack, bro. It's like it's insane. <clears throat> so yeah, everything is literally insane on this suit. The fact that you're in the awakening as well, the fact that I can just melee people to sustain myself is better than, and it is better than flat HP. Right, like the other unicorns, except for Banshee, they get like flat HP. Like, unicorn gets like what 4k, 4k flat, right? And uh, yeah, and uh, this one gets the 3k. But Norn, he's like 15% of the of the damage that I do my melee damage. Are you are you are you kidding me, bro? So, like, the higher my melee is, the more HP I will get off of the siphon. It's like life still, isn't it? So, 
and then you basically you're using Tonfa and this to get the that gives you the highest damage combo like Tonfa, Dual Sabers, Tonfa or you could do you could do Dual Sabers Neutral Tonfa, Downswing Tonfa, back to uh, back to this or the Jute like either way my point is it does a lot of damage and then you gain 15% of that damage for as HP if you fish for, for triple downswing combos when you're low HP, bro, you, you get, you're back to like 10k HP like in no time, bro. Like, you do that to like, I say three suits, you'll get your, you'll, you, you're more than doing, uh, you're more than getting your HP. Mom, use my words. You're more than getting more than enough, basically. You're getting more than enough HP. Compared to these guys, as long as you, as long as you like, you're surviving and you're doing damage. Over time, you just do way more. You just gain, you're gaining way more HP. Your survivability is through the roof, and if you're like going back healing and stuff like that, it's even more insane, right? So yeah, I th no, I'm not talking. Uh, this is a long talk because I mean I have to bro like there's no way I can't talk about this for this long when they freaking nerf my unicorn give give the banshee I mean don't get me wrong I like banshee too like, I like all the unicorns but unicorn being the weakest of the of the of the family bro that's blasphemy actual blasphemy bro like the U unicorn Gundam should be doing everything that the Banshee does and more but for balance purposes it it should at least be doing as much as what the Banshee Norn is doing right like come on bro it should be doing everything that the Banshee has if they give so you know what if they give maneuver armor plus the lifesteal in Awakening how how the how how the unicorn is now? I think that might be enough. And and give my give my damage back in in awakening, bro. Why am I doing less damage in awakening? That doesn't make sense. That it, it doesn't make sense. Like law wise, I guess it kind of makes sense for the game. It would be pretty toxic, honestly. <laughs> So honestly, <clears throat> maneuver armor and the life steal. Yeah, I think the damage needs to come back because it, it, it's like it's not even worth. It's either that or NTD has to burn slower, and they're not gonna get, they're not gonna give the unicorn level three NTD. So like, the activation has to go up ninety percent, man. I don't know, like they. In my opinion, they have to do something with Unicorn. If it, if it's not the NT mode, and the NT mode is like, is kind of like you know, leave at level one, fine. But the Awakening, bruh, don't don't piss me off. <laughs> awakening needs to be stronger than the NTD mode. But currently, the NTD mode is stronger than the Awakening. This is backwards. So, I, why I'm saying how Unicorn is now, right? Revert this. The stats, HP back, right? More of my range damage back, right? I want only on the Unicorn, by the way. I want the Psycho Jacking range to be increased when in NTD. Also, in Awakening, it should psycho jack again. Yes, it should psycho jack again in a, when it awakens, and also nullify any any. It should also nullify being locked onto by a funnel. I don't know how they would make that work, but it, you shouldn't be able to lock onto unicorn with funnels. 
Because, like, logically, the unicorn in awakening is like, oh, you, you shooting me funnels? How about your funnels shoot you? You know what I'm saying? That, that's how that works. So, balance reasons, well, obviously you can't do that, right, in the game. That would be crazy coding, most likely. Like, most likely, definitely, right? Make... Make it so you can't lock onto the unicorn in awakening at all. You can't you can't shoot any fun, any funnels at at unicorn, right? And I want some of my damage back in awakening. Not all of it. How how much was it? I think they decreased it by twenty, right? I think it was 20 down and, and 20 up, and then they nerfed it to 15 defense instead of 20 defense. So they, so I want to, they need to make it so it's like maybe my, just minus 10% on the, on the damage. Yeah, just, I mean, I need some of the damage back, right? Some of the damage back. And life steal. So let's go through the list. Maneuver armor, damage on the uh, uh, the stats, stats back to normal, how it was on release. Psycho range, psycho range jacking is increased, not the time, just the range. In awakening, it psycho jacks also. Maybe we just scrap the the whole can't lock onto it with the with the funnels for further off. So then 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 we get the two abilities from did I already say maneuver armor? Yeah, maneuver armor and then life steal by the banshee. So maneuver armor in base and life steal in awakening like banshee. So in awakening it would have life steal and and damage reduction. That's basically, and it will be, and it will psycho jack again. That would be a, a special thing. I think that's fine, bro. Like, come on, bro. I mean, that, that's completely fine. And then it will get paracrete again in another freaking in, in in the next general. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that would be fine, man. Cause like currently, it's is really lacking. But anyway. Like I said, fuck, is this getting into a fucking run, man? Let's get into the fucking video. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Let's watch my ass play the Banshee Known. And a map that I haven't played in a long time, man. I'm going to the desert. Let's get it. So I'm just gonna be like talking about like how I feel about this suit. Continue talking about how I feel about the suit because like the fucking twenty minutes. I think I like twenty minutes of fucking introduction on talking about the suit and then ended up ranting about the suit. Well, not really ranting about the suit. I'm just ranting about BB. They just not know how to nerf or buff their suits. It is just really stupid. <laughs> Like they 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 listen to freaking the dumb people, right? That freaking think the unicorn was like. I mean, it was strong. Don't get me wrong, but the fact that they don't understand that new suits will come out to like make it so it's not as strong as it is currently. And like, I don't I don't care about freaking. If if you're so pussy that. You need a suit to be nerfed until like another suit like creeps it. Like that's sad, bruh. Because for me, I didn't just play unicorn like at seven hundred cost. So like when, even when it was meta, like I was playing other things anyway, and still doing well, right? I didn't turn around and complain. Ah, oh, unicorn's too broken as OP. It's fucking unicorn, bruh. It's, it, like, it's fucking unicorn, bruh. It's 700. The top of the top cost. Unicorn is one of the strongest mobile suits of all time. 
in the UC timeline. I, I, you, I'd be fucking stupid. Like, shit. Damn it, man. So you go nerf the fucking suit. Then you bring out fucking... Uh, then you like then we get FF FF Sazabi, then we get freaking Cassatria buffs, then we get freaking now we got Rosen Zulu, I mean now we got FA Double Zeta on my days FA Double Zeta fucking creams fucking most of these suits out of here they, they don't have ballistic yeah even if they do have ballistic you have to get close enough to at least stun this man. Get him on the floor with your ballistic weapon. Otherwise, don't bother shooting him in the first place, right? That, that's a waste, right? There's no point of shooting no beams at him. Like, what's that gonna do, right? So, now we got freaking, you know, the, the meta is actually, for 700 actually is filled up now, right? Right? Unicorn would not be a problem right now. Even at before the, like, it would not be a problem. It would not be a problem. And then, and then, the cherry on top. Here comes the second coming of Unicorn. Banshee no one. Look at this fucking thing, bruh. Huh? I might as well be a fucking raid, bruh. I might as well be a raid. Triple down swing, bruh. A three hit melee. Like dual sabers, it dual sabers is here three times. I can parry people with the jut, and like that is a skill thing, right? But if you're actually good at, well, mad with, but if you're actually good at predicting uh, that jut, bro, that that shit is a heavy attack. It's a heavy attack, bro. <laughs> it's a heavy attack. <laughs> so. It's a heavy attack with skill, right? That needs skill. So, like, what are we doing, BB? I like. Uh, I don't know. I wish I kind of. I want to work for them, bro. Like, I want to be. I want to work for them and be the in the balance team, bro. I want to be that guy that balances suits and nerf suits. And, and and it's not going to be based off of what the community wants. Fuck the community. Because if if I had my way, Unicorn would, would, would be in a nice position. And it would it still would not be the strongest. Like, Banshee, Banshee no one would still be stronger than it. Right? But at least maybe Unicorn would be more tankier. Yeah, it would be. Because if it had the life still and still had the, the, the defense, right, the twenty the twenty percent defense, or if it doesn't even need to go that crazy, it could still keep what it is right now, fifteen, right? With the life still, that's still that's insane. That would actually be a tanky unicorn that had that would be able to stay in the front line for a long time. What it's fucking supposed to do, right? I don't get it, bro. BB. You don't, you don't know what you're fucking doing, bro. I'm sorry. They just don't. They, but there's no point of nerfing suits unless they're completely absurd. Like, do you remember when the Cubely came out? Do you know how absurd that suit was because the double Zeta Gundam was fucking trash? So if they actually made the double Zeta good, they wouldn't even have to nerf the fucking cubity, bruh. Imagine that. <laughs> fucking hell. Like, they don't know how to... They do not know how to fucking balance their shit, bruh. Like, it, it's fucking easy. You balance things based off of what you've had previously. It's fucking easy, bruh. It's easy. You increase the strength based off what the previous strength was. So like the next, the next fucking general, right? Honestly, it shouldn't actually be stronger than the fucking Banshee Norn. It should be either equal to it and have a have a different type of fighting style. 
That's how the fucking game should be balanced. Right? We have counters in the game for a reason. That's what, like, that's what fucking the supports are there for. A suit is, a, a suit is powerful, though you use the support that's powerful to fucking counter it. It's fucking that simple, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like, that's what I'm saying. BB's, ner BB's nerfs, right, are based off of win rate, not actually how the, the suit, how the suit's actually performing. Like, it's like based off of win rate, right? So like, how, like people could be winning and get carried, bro. What the fuck you talking about, right? That, that, that could come into a factor, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Damage, like, okay, some people are ass at the game, right? So you might not get enough damage to come out of a suit. Some people might be really good. Or generally, the suit could just be over-tuned to where it's doing too much damage. There's too many factors, right? But the fact is, I feel like I could make the right ones better than him. Be better than the devs could, bro. Like, cause, like I said, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things where they've actually changed. I I've ranted about it and they've eventually changed it like years down the line. I was telling people, I was telling, I was telling the devs to bring back Kubely when the fucking, when the fucking Dove and Wolf and the XS came out, bro. Two years later, they re they bring back the freaking Kubely. Like, they don't know shit. Anyway, back to Square, Bashing on OP. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.